Welcome back to Learn As You Explore for the third video in the MBOT2 or MBOT Neo tutorial series. In the first video, we assembled our MBOT2 robot, and in the second video, we reviewed the MBlock code editor and built our very first block program to make the Panda Sprite move forward. In this video, we will build a similar block program but this time, instead of the Panda Sprite, we'll be uploading the code to our MBOT2 or MBOT Neo robot, and we'll make the robot move forward. Let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do, as always, is open the mblock code editor by going to mblock.cc. And once you're here, you would go to code with block, and that opens up the editor. Now, last time we used the sprites tab to build block code for the Panda Sprite. This time we're gonna do it for our MBOT2 or MBOT Neo robot. So let's head on to the devices tab. By default in the devices tab, you see the CyberPy, but let's add our MBOT2 or MBOT Neo robot by clicking on the add button right here. If you have an MBOT Neo, you can click that. I have an MBOT2, so I'm gonna go with the MBOT2. Don't worry about the differences for this exercise. They are pretty much going to be the same. So let's click on MBOT2, make sure that it's highlighted and click on okay. Great, so you now have the MBOT2 robot added. Just like we did with our Panda Sprite demo in the last video, what we're going to do is we're going to have a control to start the program. And similar to the last program, the control is in the events block category. So let's click on the events block category here. And for this demo, we will use the when button A pressed. I'll explain more about what button A is. You can also change this to button B, but let's keep it as button A to keep it simple for now. So when a particular button is pressed, what do we want the robot to do is the next question. We want the robot to move forward. So what we'll do is look into the MBOT2 chassis category because moving is related to the chassis functionality. So we open up the MBOT2 chassis category and right away, the very first block that we see is a moves forward at some RPM for some period of time, which is perfect for what we want to achieve here. Let's click that, drag it on to below the block and let go and you magically have it snapped together and you have your block program pretty much done. To add some detail here, there are three parameters that we can toggle with this block. The first parameter that we'll look at is the moves forward parameter. You can change this to moves forward or moves backward or turn left or turn right. For now, we'll keep it as moves forward because that's what we want the robot to do. Next, we'll look at the second parameter, which is this 50 RPM. RPM stands for revolutions per minute and it's a unit of speed. So if you want to make the robot move faster, you would increase this number from 50 to let's say 70. If you want it to go slower, you would reduce this number, let's say from 50 to 30 RPM. For this demo, we will keep it as the default 50 RPM. And the last parameter that we have here is this one seconds. So if you want the robot to drive for a longer period of time, you would simply increase this to suit your needs. So if you wanted to drive for five seconds, for example, you would do something like five seconds here. But for this demo, I'm going to keep it at one second. To connect your MBOT2 robot to your computer, we'll use the provided USB-C to USB-A cable. 
This cable comes in the box with the MBOT2 robot. The smaller USB-C end connects to your robot, while the slightly larger USB-A end connects to your computer. Let's plug in the USB-C end to the robot. Flip over the robot to its side. When facing the robot, this would be on the left side. You see a port named USB here. Take the USB-C end of the cable and connect it to this port on the robot. Next, we'll plug in the USB-A end to your computer. We can now head back to the editor to continue. In the editor, we want to upload the block program that we built here to the robot. So let's switch the mode to upload. Since we've connected the robot to the computer with a physical cable, we'll use the serial connection. Click on that, and you see a USB serial device here. This is the robot. The COM number might differ and it might not be COM5 on your computer, but don't worry about that. As long as it's a USB serial device, you click on that and then click connect. Once you've connected, you would see new options here. You'd see a disconnect to disconnect the robot. You can also upload code, which is what we are interested in. So we have our code built here. Let's make sure that it's correct and it does what we want. So a quick review. When button A is pressed, we want the robot to move forward at 50 RPM for one second. That looks correct. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click upload code. Then you should see this message that says the code has been uploaded. So that confirms that everything worked fine. So now let's go back to the robot to test our program. Let's test our program on the robot now. Since the code has already been uploaded, the USB cable is no longer needed and can be unplugged. It is good to remove the cable as a safety measure as well, since the robot is going to be moving and we don't want the card to be pulled. In our block program, the first block was an event that said when button A is pressed. On the robot, the square button is button A and the triangular one is button B. Since the code was designed to work with button A, we should expect that the robot moves forward for one second when the square button is pressed. Let's try it out. On pressing the square button A, we see the robot move forward for about a second and stop. And that is great. Our test has passed and our code works as expected. Congratulations on your very first block program upload to your robot. You're making great progress. Keep at it and you're gonna be an expert soon. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials on the MBOT robot. Share with your friends who may be interested to support this channel. If you haven't assembled your robot yet, check out my first video in this playlist. To get an introduction to the mBlock code editor, check out the second video in this playlist. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.